Hi Pisces, I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights and I'm providing you with your life and love focus for the month of October. Happy Harvest, baby. Okay, this is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Pisces. Okay, this is for the Pisces man. This is for the Pisces woman. Thank you for your beautiful love. Thank you for all of your support. Guys, please like and share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message. All right. So, Pisces, what's up with you, man? What's going on with you these days? Let's see what's going on in your love life. Let's see what's going on in your career. Let's see what's going on about your finances, your health, your overall well-being. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, spirits and guys or guys and goddesses. Thank you, universe, for showing me Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Pisces overall life and love energy. For the month of October 2019. And happy Halloween, guys. I'm super excited. It's going to be a great month. Okay, it's going to be a great month. Do you hear me? So let's see what's going on with you. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Let's see. Woo, good start. Some of you guys, your wishes are coming true. You can't be hitting me this hard like this. You can't be doing this, Pisces. Okay, all of these emotions. <laughs> What's going on with you? Listen. Mm. You guys are, are going through this phase where it's like... I feel like you guys are finding it hard to make some type of decision, okay? Okay. A lot of you are trying to embrace like this whole new lifestyle and then there are some of you who are trying to do that but you're still trying to hold on to something else. And I think that that is, I feel like that is what needs to stop. Why? When it comes to your finances, you're doing really, really well this season. Like, I feel like there's a lot of blessings coming your way. There's a lot of opportunity coming your way. Now, before I even get into all of this, I want to tell you guys something, okay? That first week of October, we're still going to be dealing with the whole new moon in Libra theme. The new moon in Libra is going to happen around the 27th or 28th of September, give or take a day, Okay. So that first week of October, we're going to be dealing with a lot of that energy. Very straightforward, very balanced, beautiful energy. But some of us, we may feel like we just want to be closer to our loved ones, okay? We may feel like a bit nostalgic, feeling like we want to be near somebody we love. We want to reach out to someone we care for. We want to um, team up with some people we haven't seen in a while, like, it's going to be a lot of strong, tense energy here, okay, guys? Especially because the energy is shifting. And it's shifting because the year is almost over, okay? And so, because of that, your energy is also shifting. A lot of things are coming to an end. Some things are still progressing some things are still going and it needs to come to a complete end for some of you because i see the ten of swords here and i also see renewal okay so there's definitely an end in here but then there's also like a new beginning over here like this is like some type of rebirth okay like a new foundation coming up, up out of the rut and blossoming like you ever seen what a flower look like when like when you're planting it it's like cool we have to be a little patient and then it sprouts up and then it's very beautiful and bright right that is your energy so it's like just in the moment as things begin to like die down and things are coming to like this complete stop or this complete ending something new is forming and this can be something within yourself 
maybe you are the one that is going through an actual rebirth spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, okay? But for a lot of you, this could just simply mean new projects, a new job, a new career, new environment. But either way, I do feel like you guys are still stuck between trying to choose between what's good and what's wrong. You know, trying to weigh out some options here. Trying to find out, like, which route is the best. Okay? But I do see a new home for a lot of you. Okay? I also see, I feel like, I feel like whatever is going to be affecting you during this time, Pisces, is due to any type of old spiritual beliefs. Like... Things that, sorry guys, so things that um, you believed in or maybe you had strong beliefs in um, when it comes to your culture, your religion, um, the way maybe that you were raised, there's something that is happening that is causing you to make this, this decision, okay? And I feel like it has nothing to do totally with love, but I feel like it's more of a um, religious or a cultural thing. And, you know, this could be, for a lot of you, this could be a career thing, okay? But for some of you, this could even be representing, like, your life purpose. This can be maybe someone you're dealing with, okay? But I feel like a lot of you are going to have to really make some changes overall when it comes to, especially when it comes to choosing your heart over your head, or really trying to rationalize some type of circumstance or situation, all right? Because I also do see unity here at the forefront, like literally at the center of your reading, the center of your core, your core values. There is unity. So it makes me feel like you believe in fairness. You want everyone to come together, to be united, to be family, to um, be happy, okay? And you, uh, but I feel like there's a lot of different viewpoints between you and someone else like there's a lot of um disagreements because you and another person clearly have um different values you have a lot of different viewpoints on how something should be done or how it should be handled and because of that a lot of you have literally become discouraged but this definitely going to lead to some type of a heartbreak but in the midst of that heartbreak or whatever it is that you're facing or that you're dealing with comes the renewal energy Okay, and also the Ace of Cups, which let us know that you won't stay in this energy very long, okay? Whatever is ending, it needs to end. Don't try to fight it. Don't try to make it stay. Don't try to um, reignite it. Don't try to fight too hard to the point where you get frustrated or you get bruised um, emotionally because I feel like there's definitely someone new coming along, okay? There's definitely someone new. Though you could be falling in love with somebody else. Um, and this could be somebody you already knew, or this could be a new person, okay? So don't worry too much about, you know, this, what seemed like to be like a downfall, or what may seem like is like the end of the road for you. Like, don't just give up just like that, okay? Because I do feel like, you know how they say, like, the treasure will come out at the rainbow? Like, that is what it's going to be like. Like, okay, I was just crying over this, but here I go. <laughs> <laughs> like, so you guys are really not going to be dealing with too much. You get what I'm saying? Um, I will say this, though. I do see the three of pinnacles, and that does show, like, some type of recognition when it comes to your work, career, um, somebody. It doesn't. It may not necessarily have anything to do with an actual job itself. It could just mean that people are simply being um, appreciative for all that you have done, okay? People are being grateful. They're showing, like, their love and support for you, okay? Um, all the things that you have done for people in the past, like, people are literally rewarding you for it now. People are paying you on time. They're giving you what you need. They're trying their best to work with you on different circumstances. But I promise you, my love, you know, whoever this is, I do feel like if this is not you, um... <laughs> going after this new person and this is definitely somebody coming in for a lot of you this could be a air sign like a gemini and aquarius 
this could be, I think you guys would do really well with an Aquarius. I do. Because you guys can be very intuitive um, and you love to talk, you know, and you love to share that side of you that is very different. And um, I just heard flamboyant as well. So there's definitely like that energy that needs to carry over. And I think that what is happening is that whoever this person is, and now I keep hearing Aquarius. So, for a lot of you, you could be attracted to an Aquarius person, or you could be attracted to someone who responds the way that an Aquarius would respond, okay? But there's definitely a lot of air energy. There's also a lot of earth energy. So, I don't know if you guys are trying to choose between, like, this water sign, this air sign, or this earth sign, okay? But for a lot of you, you could be trying to get over you know, because like I said, you guys are a water sign. So maybe this is your energy that I'm sensing. And maybe you are trying to choose between air sign and earth sign. I'm not sure. Only you guys know what that really means, okay? Because for each and every one of you, okay, this is a general reading. And for each and every one of you, it's definitely going to play out differently. So you want to make sure that you guys are checking your sun, your moon, your rising. You want to make sure that you're checking your birth chart for your Jupiter, your Mars, your Mercury, Guys, all of these things are important, especially like your Venus, because that represents love, okay? And especially in Mercury, because it talks about your approach and how you uh, communicate when it comes to love. So all of these things within your birth chart really does matter. And so a lot of times when you're hearing a reading, you may be like, oh, well, I'm not sure that resonates with me. Um, it's probably best that you know your rising or your moon sign, because those are probably 9 out of 10, the energy that you're going to be resonating with, okay? And just that's just as a side note, all right? So let's look at some um, energy here. Let's see your overall energy. Let's see what the universe has for you, my love, okay? Let's see Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, overall life and love energy for, uh-oh, for the month of October 2019. Please show me Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. You know, Venus and Pisces, please show me the Pisces man, the Pisces woman. Show me Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, overall life and love energy. Please give me clarity on the Unity card, the Nine of Cups. Mm. So I feel like a lot of you guys are feeling really stuck in a particular situation, or you're feeling like it's really because the, this broken heart came on top of the Two of Air. So there's definitely a decision here where you have to choose between someone, okay? You have to choose between either your air sign or your earth sign. So this person can literally be like an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra, or this person could actually be your Virgo, your Capricorn, or your Taurus, okay? Now, I just want you to know that you. this is one of the situations where you really do have to follow not just your spirit, but you do have to rely on your heart. Because this is one of the situations where you're going to have to try to find out, like, who makes your heart beat more, you know? Like, when you're around this person or when you're with, when you're with this individual, who makes you more happier? Like, you know that sense of relief? Like, who gives you, like, that sense of relief, Pisces? Okay, so for a lot of you, you are definitely working through some type of heartbreak. A lot of you are also feeling really caught up, but I think it's just because you're thinking about all the things that could go wrong and you're not really paying attention to all the possibilities of what could go right. So what I recommend is that you guys focus a lot on your traditional viewpoints, things that matter to you. If you feel like you need to follow your culture, your tradition, you know, how you were raised, you know, your core values. You know, stand up for what you believe in. If you feel like this is what you believe in and this is firm and this is what I need to, to make me happy. And if you're not trying to provide that, then so be it. If this is your energy, then so be it. You guys have to follow. This is, like I said, it's one of those situations where you have to listen to your spirit, but you also have to follow your heart as well, okay? Now, even though the door to healing and happiness actually came out in reverse, this is definitely letting me know that you guys are definitely going through some shit, okay? You, whatever it is that you guys are working through, it's, I feel like it's definitely a love situation. Definitely because the Ace of Cups was above you. So it's letting me know that the more you take time, like I said, with that renewal process, the more you take time to focus on healing, self, 
uh, reconstructing and reconstructing, excuse me, and making sure that everything works out emotionally for you, you know, this can be the result, okay? Like I said, with the Nine of Cups here, we do have your wishes coming true, okay? And in the middle of that is the Queen of Earth. So like I said, there's definitely somebody who understands you on a much more um, emotional level, okay? But I do feel like whatever these changes are that you need to make within love, this can be controlling issues, um, insecurity issues, feeling inadequate, whatever it is. I feel like whoever, whatever this energy is, it's definitely going to bring out a lot of emotions in you because, like I said, you're, you're having this hard time trying to choose between this person and somebody else. And because of that, it is going to be a bit tricky to try to just snap out of it and move on because it's like, I feel like you guys are caught between trying to do what's right and trying to do what your your human side want you to do. And your spirit is like, no, you need to do what's right. You need to do right by your woman. You need to do right by your husband. You need to do right by, you know, people that you love. And then the other part of you was like, well, I, I, I just want to be here. You know, but I feel like there's some some issues that you guys are definitely working through. And thank goodness that you guys are going to be blessed tremendously to be able to have the courage and the strength to actually work through it. But whoever it is, honey, you definitely have to choose because I do feel like a lot of you are in the process of trying to choose. Is it the ex or is it the new person? Is it this earth sign or is it this air sign? Who is it going to be? You can't sit here and say, well, I love this person, but then I love them too. And then, you know, I want to make this work, but then I don't know how to make this work. Like, you guys got to get it together, Pisces, you know, because I feel like a lot of you were dealing with the Gemini and maybe um, at some point the Gemini felt like, look, I'm not doing this with you, you know, like I can't take it anymore. And as heartbroken as you was, I feel like a lot of you were still trying to fight your way back in and, you know, try to work at it, trying to get back in it. But it's not working because this air sign now realize, okay, I have, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Okay. And it may not even be a Gemini. For some of you, it could be an Aquarius. For some of you, it could even be a Libra, you know, but, <clears throat> or maybe whoever this is, maybe they have air energy in their birth chart, okay, as a sun arising or moon sign. So maybe it, they may not even be a direct air sign. Maybe they act like an air sign, okay? So your air signs are your Libras, your Aquarius, your Geminis. That's who your air signs are. But I feel like a lot of you are falling in love with an earth sign, okay? And this is beautiful. If you have decided that you want to be with a Virgo, I, I definitely, most certainly approve it. I think that this is beautiful for those of you that are um, kind of caught up trying to decide if you want to be with this Aries, I mean, this Taurus person. Um, I feel like you already know what time it is dealing with the Taurus person. I think that there's, and I think that's the problem, is like you know what the Taurus person can uh, contribute to this relationship. And I think that you understand what level that you both are on. And I think that that's part of the problem is that you have part feelings for somebody else, but you understand how great this relationship is with this Taurus person. You understand the importance. Okay, like I said, there's that renewal energy, but then there's also unity. So maybe a lot of you are renewing your vows. Maybe you guys are taking your marriage a bit more seriously. Maybe you guys are thinking of getting married and coming together a lot closer with your spouse. But some of you are definitely taking a lot of your, your background into consideration. Like, how was I raised? What would my mom have done? Like, what would my dad have done? A lot of you are thinking about your, your religion or your cultural background. And that's also causing a lot of, like... Um, there's a lot of feelings and things weighing on this. I feel like a lot of you are also very scared. And I feel like you don't need to be, you know, and as easy as it sounds, you don't really need to be that afraid of your own energy. Because like I said, there's renewal here. So you're not going to approach the situation the same way you would have done six years ago. You know, you're going into the situation with a clear mind. I feel like deep down inside, you know the right thing to do. And you want to make it happen, but it just has not been able to happen for some reason. So this is going to, again, this is going to be one of those seasons where you got to follow your heart and follow your spirit, okay? 
So Pisces, I love you and I wish you all the best. Your reading was really straight to the point. It was very strong and very tense, but I like it. And I really hope that you guys, um, I really hope that this reading resonated with you, if not all of you. Please like and share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message. Guys, I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. Please hit that like button. Please hit that share button. Also, hit that subscribe button, guys. And let me know what you think below. Comments, keep it love and light. No drama. I love you. Bye.